These luxury items are very expensive. Luxury items are a huge part of today's society. Whether it's an item that is deemed luxurious or not, many people are drawn to the idea of owning a luxury item. The idea of luxury is subjective, of course, but some luxury items are made desirable to others. This can be seen in the rise of the super rich. Today, let's check out some luxury items with jaw-dropping prices. Hello and welcome to Luxury Premier, the ultimate destination for dreamers pursuing insight. And if you're here with us, it's not a coincidence that you are watching this video. Here in Luxury Premier, we only want what is best for you. May our videos inspire you and hope that all of your dreams may come true. Luxury items are items that have a high price tag and are of the highest quality. Often, these items are made of rare materials or have a high-end design. Luxury items are often thought of as status symbols. People will often spend a lot of money on luxury items because they want to show that they can afford them. Luxury items also tend to be sold at high-end stores so people who are wealthy can spend their money to purchase the luxury items they want. If you want to buy a luxury item, you should be sure to do your research first and know the cost of the item. Let's get to it. Dead Shark Art Piece $12 million The shark art piece by Damien Hirst is one of the most iconic pieces of artwork in the history of art. This piece, which was created by Damien Hirst in 1991, is a 14-foot long, 8-foot wide, and 8-foot high sculpture of a shark in formaldehyde. The sculpture was first exhibited at the Saatchi Gallery in London in 1991 and has since been a part of a number of other museums around the world. This piece is so famous and famous because of the vivid colors and the way the shark is portrayed in this art piece. The colors in the background of the artwork are so vibrant. The artwork was created to show the beauty of nature and to try to show the way that humans have treated nature and animals. The artwork is part of a series of artwork that Hearst created called The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living. This artwork is considered to be one of the most influential pieces of art in the world. The colors in the artwork are supposed to represent the different emotions that people feel when they see sharks, fear, danger, and curiosity. The Card Players $250 million The card players, a painting by Paul Cezanne, cost Qatar more than $250 million. The transaction completely changes the market for modern art and establishes the highest sum ever paid for a piece of art. It's possible that the price is ridiculous, given that it more than doubles the current auction record for a work of art. The transaction happened in 2011 when Cezanne started a painting campaign to give enduring form to a subject that had influenced artists like Caravaggio and Chardin. He was in his 50s. From the beginning, he was committed to making it his own. This composition was painstakingly created by Cezanne using figure studies he had taken of nearby farm workers. After figuring out his conception, he spent further time perfecting the card player's stances and positions. In order to concentrate his attention on a couple of players, Cezanne cut out extraneous features in three paintings, channeling the quiet authority he attained here into a much larger variation. The painting was a part of the artist series. All other parties involved in the sale signed confidentiality agreements, and Qatar's royal family declined to comment. Garçon à la Pipe $104 million Picasso painted Garçon à la Pipe in 1905 when he was 24 years old during his rose period, not long after relocating to Paris's Montmartre neighborhood. An oil painting on canvas shows a young man in Paris holding a pipe in his left hand and donning a floral wreath or garland. In the initial stages of this project, the boy was positioned in a variety of poses that included standing, sitting, and leaning against the wall. Picasso moved the model around 
around a lot before settling on the boy sitting down. The positioning of the arm came next, where the height and angle received a lot of attention. The picture was sold at a Sotheby's auction in New York City on May 5, 2004 for $104 million and $168,000. Although sources claim that Giodo Barilla, owner of the Barilla Group, purchased the item, Sotheby's declined to identify the buyer. At the time, it shattered the record for the highest price ever paid for a painting sold at auction. The total of 104 million US dollars consists of the auction price of 93 million US dollars plus the commission paid to the auction house of approximately 11 million US dollars. Rain the second. $4.3 million. At an auction in 2011, Andreas Gursky Rain II brought around $4.3 million, a known who purchased the enormous 350 centimeters by 200 centimeters or 80 inches by 140 inches glass mounted print. Additional Gursky pieces can be found in a collection of renowned museums, including Tate Modern and the Museum of Modern Art in New York. The previous record for a photograph was acquired by American Cindy Sherman, who is also the subject of all of her own works in 1981 for a print. Although the image is easily recognizable as a view of a straight length of water, it also features an abstract arrangement of horizontal bands of color that are of different widths. The image is also split almost perfectly in half by the horizon line. The cloudy blue-gray sky is seen above it. The river is a smooth, uninterrupted band in the lower half of the picture, sandwiched between green grass striations. A narrow trail can be seen at the bottom of the image in the foreground. Another narrow strip of well-kept green grass is located below it. Gursky's prices have been progressively rising at auction for the past 10 years, a diptych, 99 cent two, sold for 1.7 million pounds at a Sotheby's auction in 2007. The perfect pink diamond, $46 million. A pricey gem dealer purchased a rare pink diamond at auction for more than $46 million or £29 million, pounds, shattering the previous record for a jewel. The 24.78 carat fancy vivid pink diamond was purchased by London jeweler Lawrence Graff for $46,158,674 or £28 million, pounds, and he called it the Graff Pink right away. The same bidder paid $24.3 million for the blue 35.56 carat Whittlesback Graph Diamond in 2008. The sale price was nearly twice as much. The Graph Pink, which was originally a part of Harry Winston's private collection, was kept out of sight for 60 years before being offered for sale in 2010. Lawrence Graff bought the stone at Sotheby's magnificent jewel sale in Geneva for a record-breaking $46 million, making it one of the most expensive single jewels ever publicly sold. This stone was initially expected to sell for between $27 million and $38 million. In 1960, Lawrence Graff established the Graff Diamonds Company, which quickly earned a reputation as one of the world's leading diamond houses. Chopper 201 Carat Watch The second most expensive women's watch ever created is beautifully covered in unmatched natural colored diamonds. Naturally, we wouldn't expect anything less than $25 million. All that glitz and glamour comes with a lot of weight. Though it takes a strong wrist and a sizable bank account to wear this watch, the watch is actually one of the most costly watches ever after. The $55 million hallucination by Graf with a whopping $25 million in value. However, rest assured that the watch is worth every penny because it is totally handmade. It's 874 high-grade diamonds, which come in a variety of colors and sizes, were also made public. An internally flawless heart-shaped pink diamond weighing 15.37 carats, a heart-shaped blue diamond weighing 12.79 carats, and a flawless heart-shaped D-color diamond weighing 
11.36 carats are set in the center of the shining white gold and yellow gold hardware. Each of these gems is set in a bracelet that also clusters of 260 pear-shaped D-color flawless diamonds and 91 round D-color flawless diamonds, totaling a combined 10.29 carats. These clusters are arranged like flowers with a round 8.81 carat yellow diamond at the center. The bracelet also features 26 pear-shaped yellow diamonds totaling 17.07 carats that are dotted around it. The term luxury is an elusive one. It is often used to describe items that are not necessities. The term can also be used to describe items that are considered to be more desirable and have a high price tag. There are a few things that are considered luxury items. It is also possible that your definition of luxury may be different than someone else's. What is a luxury to one person may not be a luxury to another. This is not to say that all luxury items are expensive, just that they are desirable. Some people acquire them to be part of their collections, while some acquire them because they simply like the items. Today, we hope you learned something new that you will remember for the rest of your life. We'd like to thank everyone who has stayed with us this far, despite the fact that we have never met. Please know that we respect and admire you for choosing to be here today. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us, dreamers. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos.